Hi. Today we're going to talk about the types of people you don't need to talk to. It's frustrating that we can't figure out what the reason is for this. Outwardly all is well, the relationship is not bad, these people are wonderful, for some reason we became close to them. But the problem is, after communicating with them the soul is heavy and restless, plus the feeling of guilt accumulates. How could it not go well with such a good person? It's not your fault. The external illusion of well-being cannot be trusted. If your soul is scratching, then something is obviously wrong. We have compiled a list of 10 types of people with whom communication poisons you from the inside. No matter how difficult it is, try to distance yourself from them. 1. Egoist. Pride and self-respect are vital qualities that are important to develop in time. The problem with egoists is that they don't recognize anyone else's right to respect. They cut off the oxygen to those around them and do not allow them to develop the same pride and self-respect. 2. The envious. Some people are always there when you're in trouble, but for some reason, they're never there when you're doing well. Eventually, it begins to feel like they only love you when you're weak, when you're in trouble, when you're unhappy, when you're having a bad day, when you can be pitted. But this, of course, is not about love, but the most basic envy. Any hint of another's happiness triggers in such people a flywheel of suffering about their own inferiority. From communicating with such people is difficult to abandon, because they were there when things were not good for you. But it's worth considering whether this was supportive of you, or just a way to boost their self-esteem at your expense. 3. The Pretender These people are perfect friends. When it suits them. And in no other case. Because of this it is completely impossible to rely on them. When you need their help or just count on them, they withdraw, or even disappear at the most responsible moment. 4. Ballast Like ballast, a bag of sand weighing down the basket of a balloon, such a person will always pull you down. To habits from which you are trying to get rid of, to unpleasant company from which you are trying to escape, to the past life, if you had to radically rework your own way of life. 5. Judge. A person of this type is simply unable not to judge. What is good for them is always less than ideal, any effort is not enough, any achievement is insignificant. These people are impossible to change, they talk as if they see you in front of them in the dock, and they awaken guilt in you just by their appearance, soon they do not need to open their mouth at all. You already understand that you cope with your life very badly. 6. Inspector People of this type maniacally like to control everything. Usually it is masked by love and concern for you. They are the ones who try to rearrange your closet because you don't dress warmly enough, insist that you lose or gain weight, eat this or that and not eat what you eat, don't go where you go, and go somewhere else. 7. Liar Lying is a common thing, and often lies are not so dangerous, we lie every day and often do not even notice how they lie to us. But some people openly abuse lies, they lie constantly, and for any reason, they get confused in their own lies, and in the end, you yourself do not know what to believe and what not. 8. Gossip Girl one of the most unpleasant types in any environment is a gossipy person. These people are so eager to please everyone and be an important person in any company that they are willing not just to spill a secret, but also to twist it. It is the only effective way to get the attention of others that gossipers possess. 9. Parasite Surely there is a person among your friends who sometimes turns to you, Hi, how are you? and you immediately begin to wonder what he needed from you this time. The parasite really needs you, as a source of valuable resources for him, which can be anything, money to lend, free time to spend together, attention, protection, comfort. In this case, the parasitic character only takes, and does not show the slightest intention of giving you anything in return. He appears when he needs you, gets what he wants from you, and disappears until the next time. 10. Victim. Some people manage to profit from the position of the victim, who is hurt by everyone, even life itself. What could be the benefit? That the victim is never responsible for anything. That's why you can afford to do anything you want, it's always someone else's fault, after all. 
In any relationship, love, friendship, family, the victim never admits his mistakes. But he spends a lot of effort to present himself in a tragic light, and in the end, even you yourself sincerely begin to doubt whether you are to blame, 